Back to Grogar and Wily Spoily. Look, there, that's gotta be his pad's entrance. No, no, let's be careful though. Shit looks mighty fishy. So you nerds have made it this far, huh? No matter. I will dispose of you and Roderick myself, speared the mysterious boss. Fuck that. My Xbox powered wheelchair will crunch your bones into bone hurting juice. Said my body wheelie. Ha ha. Very funny, guys. But I'm quite a lot more powerful than you seem to think. Lord at the boss. Who the fuck are ya? I said. You will see soon enough. Wheelie's chair began to steam, which turned to smoking. What's going on, Spiley? Oh no. It, it's the, 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 the red, red. Wheelie was stumbling. Wh what is it? The red ring of death. Grogger, back up. I'm gonna blow. No! A thunderous explosion erupted and sent me flying back. I couldn't believe it. The person I had laughed so heavily at and became so quickly my best friend I was vaporized. No amount of grog would make me feel any better. What I needed was a nice, tall glass of vengeance. <laughs> he should have been more careful with an overheated Xbox. Could be dangerous. <laughs> I just simply turned the temperature up a little. And boom! <laughs> You're next, Grogger. Condescendingly spoke the boss, the murderer of Wheelie Spealy, the boss of this whole apparition. The man who had what felt like a lifetime ago, banded, confiscated all of the grog, jumped down to me, Grogger. Me. I was awestruck. There stood the boss, calm and collected. My brother. My brother was the one. The schemer. The mastermind behind it all. But why? Why, Jack, why? Grogger, it's simple, really. Mother and father always liked you best. Gave you all of the grog. I got none. Nothing. You always loved this stuff. Couldn't get enough. <laughs> I was in your shadow my whole life. Till just recently I devised a scheme to show you how I feel. To show you what it's like. I was the one who got Wheelie to be waiting outside. I was the one who phoned up old Festus to meet you, with me letting him on that a mystery man had banned the grog. I purposely let the catfucker bartender take my picture. Obviously, you didn't know it was me this whole time till now, thanks to a latex mask. Looked real, huh? Point is, I'm contemplating if I kill you now, or let you suffer in your guilt. Hmm. Choices, choices. How about you decide? I, I will fight you, and I will win. Hmm. This'll be fun. Thing is, I had almost no grog my entire life, no thanks to you. So now that I got all the grog I could ever need, let's say I've had some. Even with you with your one bottle, you couldn't possibly outmatch me. I've drunk an ungodly amounts of grog. You can't stop me, even if Roderick gets here in time. You're screwed. I always knew I was the better son. Now I get to prove it. Bring it, I said. Jack, my brother, sucker punched me in the waist, stand him, knocked the air out of me. You are a loser. Give up. Jack's taunts me, Jack shit to me. I wasn't going down, period. I regained my composure and breath and stared him down. Jack sprinted at me. I monkey kicked him in the chest. He flew backwards, yet landed on his feet. Pitiful. I can win blindfolded. Much obliged, yelled Roderick as he wrapped his meaty hands around his face, blocking his eyesight. Wait, stop. This is between brothers. Let me fight, even if I lose. Roderick understood. He slunk to the side and watched a battle ensue. He had made this mistake before. He would not do so again. Bad move. Roderick won't like another life snuffed out weighing on his conscience. Too bad for you. I don't plan on dying, Limtad. Jack ran me and I yelled. Grog slam! 
as I did so. My spine ached. Jack stood above me and clutched my throat. This is it. I win. I finally win at something. You're gonna die. Look, you can't even lift your arms. This almost makes me almost feel sorry for you. But not really. Time to die. Then I heard it. A voice deep in my mind, as hazy as it was. I swear it was an angel's. It was so beautiful. It said, Gaga, I have witnessed your struggle. I will grant you one wish. That includes you beating Jack. Make your choice before you slip away. Without hesitation, I spoke. Hell, yelled at the top of my lungs. Respawn, Wheelie Spaley. The angel sounded giddy. Of course, grog on. Then I saw, truly saw, Roderick festering Festus and Wheelie Spaley. What? Impossible. I don't need grog to win. I have friends. Sorry, Lois. To my surprise, Jack did not take a fighting stance or proclaim his superiority. He fell to his knees and cried. My friend stood silent, looking to me for answers. Even after I beat you down, take what you most love, you still beat me. Why? Why do I always come in second? Why? He spoke through choked sobs. I looked upon my brother with mercy. Even after all the things he's done, he gets to live. Jack, I can forgive you. Will you? Yes. Just grab my hand. I reach for his hand. When I grip it, he says, You're fucked now. I win. Roderick, festering Festus, and wheelie spoily push him away. And he blows himself up without taking me with him. I look upon my friends, shell-shocked. I ask how Festus got here. Game would have heard ruckus of grog down here. Came to see if it was true. We are gonna find you if it was. So about your bro, said Fester and Festus. Don't mention it, mate. I don't need grog anymore. But I hear that the rest of the stash is in the pad. Why don't we have a look-see? There I was. My friends are toting grog. Me as well. We only came up to me and said, Hey, thanks for the respawn. She was swank. Darn right, I said. I took one big swig of my grog and looked around the room. Not only was it filled with my favorite substance to abuse, but with my favorite people too. The end. Oh, what a doozy. <laughs> you know, I think I might go whack off. <laughs>